The next seven star terror rate is here and it is Alolan Decidueye rocking that flying terror typing. In this video, I'm gonna break down everything you guys need to know on how you can be prepared for this new raid dropping tonight and get yourself a Decidueye. Let's take a look. All right, so if you haven't been keeping up, they've been dropping a bunch of starter Pokemon over the last few months, Greninja, Blaziken. We've got Decidueye coming up next. It launches tonight at eight o'clock Eastern time or zero UTC. It's gonna be running for a few days throughout the weekend and it'll actually be back next week as well. So if you miss it, don't stress about it. Generally, when we look at these raids, they're usually not too hard if you're able to team up with some people, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tips and advice here. I've gathered through my travels on the internet to uh, help you along your way and ultimately conquering Decidueye why the mighty i think it is right the mightiest mark and uh, you'll be able to snag that and add it to your squad all right so in terms of moveset and what we're going to expect from decidueye it's a relatively average speed pokemon it's got a decent attack stat decent special attack stat it's going to be utilizing the flying terra typing its ability isn't anything too much to worry about overgrow to boost his grass moves long reach to essentially hit uh you know around kind of iron barbs and stuff but its main move is going to be spirit shackle not that impactful in a game where you can't switch it's got things like leaf blade to hit physically as well and we're probably going to see something like a brave bird to kind of take advantage of that terra typing you might see like a dual wing bead or something to that effect but i'm thinking brave bird's going to make the most sense and i'm envisioning this to be a physical attacker primarily because even though it does have a decent special attack it's not really going to utilize it too much and then from there you might see it run like a you know a swords dance there is the chance of a nasty plot set don't get me wrong hurricane nasty plot that could be kind of spicy but again i would lean towards that it's probably going to be pretty physical but again the situation not super bulky right it's got relatively middle of the line hp stats defense is pretty pitiful and special defense is above average but again not too crazy so this should be a pretty clear path to victory here so i want to just take a moment and shout out rage gaming videos pokemon cast and pretty much all of twitter a lot of people post different ideas and concepts and you know i obviously found those and kind of morphed them to what i think is a cool idea and you know there's a lot of people discussing this stuff in the community so just want to give shout outs where shout outs are due one of the sets i saw that i really like is actually belly bolts belly bolts has an ability electromorphosis where when it gets hit by an attack it's actually going to deal more damage back and it's because it's so slow it's going to be able to do that really effectively and uh you're going to want to get parabolic charge on it which is an egg move that involves getting a dedene you go to uh give it the mirror herb to the belly bolt you do the picnic you pass over the move you get parabolic charge in your belly bolt really cool set though because it allows you to recover a tremendous amount of hp back hitting super effectively against the decidueye and by being an electric type you're basically not going to be super effectively weak against anything decidueye is going to throw at you because it's not going to have any ground type moves that's like one of the biggest things that's lacking from its move pool which is why electric types seem to be the most like optimal option when it comes to doing this terror raid so belly bolt is certainly something to look at i would highly recommend considering things like acid spray to drop the special defense of the uh decidueye and then ultimately hit it really hard with parabolic charge we've got electric terrain here with the electric seed to boost your stats up so you can take hits a little bit better you've also got an option to bring a reflect if you're worried about it being a swords dance set and you want to kind of protect your teammates you can kind of utilize a similar strategy there but having that parabolic charge is going to make all the difference because again you're going to be able to heal up quite a bit and that brings us to our next pokemon which might be a little bit more accessible for many of you and that is maridon the legendary pokemon being dragon and electrotyping you're going to be basically resisting both the grass and the flying type moves coming from the decidueye which is obviously just advantageous and you get it super hard with parabolic charge you can pr uh, pr protect yourself with reflect you have metal sound to drop special defense you can go with the electro drift obviously your ability is setting up the terrain right away which is very nice and you can of course use throat spray there too with your metal sound to boost your special attack and even increase your output there there's other options like a calm mindset with metal sound leftovers give yourself a little bit of regeneration a little bit of recovery but honestly I, I don't even think you have to stress too much about that i have a feeling that this thing is going to be pretty easy to beat especially if you're utilizing one of these strategies i feel like these pokemon are bulky enough that they're going to be able to take these hits they're going to be able to dish out enough damage and i think you're not going to have too much of a problem if you utilize one of these two strategies i do want to mention a lot of people have a iron hands built already i'm not going to sit here and say that iron hands is the most reliable strategy but from a, from a solo perspective it may be worth considering utilizing it from like a belly drum drain punch point of view and i understand it's resisted and i understand that you're not actually resisting the the flying attacks back 
but Iron Hands is very, very strong, especially when it gets that uh, belly drum up, and it can deal a lot of damage very quickly and heal a lot of the damage that it takes back. So that's just a Pokemon that I know a lot of people have already built, so I figured it was worth an honorable mention. But until the raid actually drops, it's going to be hard to exactly predict what this Decidueye will bring, but I think we'll at least get you in the right direction here. I think from there, there's some honorable mentions. You can look at something like an Ampharos or a Toxtricity even, or even a Magnezone, because again, without ground type moves, Decidueye is going to struggle to hit those Pokemon. So any of those are kind of cool ideas. I do think the Maridon and the Belly Bolt makes so much sense though. Parabolic Charge allowing you to recover and have that sustainability in the fight is probably going to be what makes the difference of being able to beat this with ease. I wish you a sincere great time trying to tackle this Decidueye raid. And of course, let me know if you have any sets or thoughts in the comment section below. You can help some other players out, but this should get you in the right direction. Happy raiding guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.